Yeah, I think it uh, you know uh, went viral uh, pretty fast. Basically, there was an old coke plant which we were dismantling, uh, which was what we call battery five and six. There was a small explosion uh, where it was being dismantled. And as a precaution, what happens in a situation like this is you flare the gases which are there in the uh, you know in the process. You know we had isolated this part of the plant for dismantling, but still when the explosion happened, you tend to flare the gases which are generated in the rest of the plant. So that looks pretty dramatic, and I think some videos of those uh, pictures, which was basically a flaring of gases, uh, went uh, viral, and uh, people assumed that there was a large fire, which was not the case. Uh, it was uh, obviously an incident, which we are investigating, but nothing as dramatic and uh, fake as it was made out to be. There were uh, three injuries, two very minor injuries, and one person with a fracture, but otherwise everything is fine. The plant is uh, back to normal. Uh, of course, we need to... Uh, respond quicker in such situations, I guess that's a takeaway as far as I'm concerned. Indeed, and to uh, make sure it doesn't happen again. Sir, as a quick last question, you've been quoted as saying that you see, all the, you see the steel market at the moment as being fairly balanced in terms of supply and demand. How long do you think it will remain in balance and what is the, t the, the key tipping factor that could push it out of balance that you foresee? Yeah. So to me, uh, uh, why I say it's in a better balance is, uh, you know, unlike the last time when steel prices were very high, very few countries or companies are adding capacities now. You know, 10, 15 years back when steel prices were at this level, China was adding 50 million tons of capacity a year. That's not happening. I think India's only country adding some capacity and Indian companies are the only ones adding capacities. Second thing is with uh, Russia and Ukraine out of the supply uh, of steel, uh, you know, the market is much more balanced. And third is uh, there's a lot of investment happening in the industry in Europe, transition into a greener future. So the cost base is also at a very different level. And fourth is with very limited investments happening in coal, I expect coking coal prices to stay at a higher level than it has done in the last 15, 20, 30 years. So I think on the input cost side, uh, it will be high. On the demand supply side, there'll be a better balance. And uh, if governments continue to spend on infrastructure, the demand will continue to grow. There's another shift happening. The growth of steel consumption now outside China is bigger than the growth in steel consumption in China. And that's a more balanced situation than we've had in the past. So I think for these factors, I expect the uh, steel industry to have a, have a better decade ahead than they had in the last decade.